30% of early galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope already have spiral structures just 2 billion years after the Big Bang, a formation process our models said should take at least 5 billion years. This single statistic has shattered our understanding of galaxy evolution. Even more shocking, Webb has potentially detected galaxy F200D B045 with a redshift of 20.4, suggesting it existed just 160 million years after the Big Bang. If confirmed, this discovery alone would force us to reconsider the universe's age. Today we're exploring these and other impossible Webb discoveries that are rewriting cosmic history. The impossible galaxies, too big, too soon. When Webb first turned its golden mirrors toward the cosmic dawn, astronomers experienced a collective moment of disbelief. For decades, we had operated under a seemingly solid theoretical framework about how galaxies form and evolve. The expectation was clear. The earliest galaxies should resemble cosmic toddlers, small, chaotic collections of stars with little discernible structure. After all, it takes time for gravity to orchestrate billions of stars into the majestic spiral patterns we see in mature galaxies like our Milky Way. But Webb shattered these expectations almost immediately. Instead of finding primitive galactic building blocks, the telescope revealed massive, fully formed spiral galaxies thriving just two billion years after the Big Bang. These galaxies appeared billions of years ahead of our cosmic timetable. Imagine walking into a preschool and finding a toddler writing a doctoral dissertation. This cosmic contradiction carries similar weight. Our standard models indicated that these spiral galaxies should require at least 5 billion years to develop their structure and accumulate their stellar mass. Yet, there they were, complete with elegant spiral arms, organized central bulges, and mature rotation patterns. The scale of this discovery amplifies its significance. These impossibly mature galaxies weren't rare outliers. They comprised nearly one-third of all early galaxies observed by Webb. This wasn't an exception, but a pattern that fundamentally challenges our understanding of galactic formation. The JWST NIRCAM instrument captured these galaxies in exquisite detail when the universe was merely 15% of its current age. The images revealed fully developed galactic features that somehow manifested billions of years before they should have been possible. Scientific skepticism followed immediately. Multiple independent research teams analyzed the same data using different methodologies to verify the findings. The verdict remained consistent. These mature galaxies genuinely existed far earlier than our models permitted. The contradiction deepens when considering their stellar mass. Some early structures contain hundreds of billions of stars, comparable to our Milky Way. Despite existing in an era when the universe had barely begun manufacturing the elements needed for star formation, using conventional formation rates, there simply wasn't enough time for these galaxies to accumulate many stars. This fundamental paradox forces us to reconsider cosmic evolution at its core. Either stars formed at dramatically faster rates than we thought possible, or these galaxies had some kind of head start that our current models don't account for. Between observation and explanation lies a vast territory of scientific reconsideration. Every theoretical framework must now address how these impossible galaxies came to exist. Some astronomers propose that dark matter, the mysterious substance comprising roughly 85% of the universe's matter, might have concentrated more efficiently in the early universe creating stronger gravitational wells that accelerated galaxy formation. Others suggest that star formation physics operated differently under early universe conditions, allowing for more rapid stellar birth rates. More radical possibilities have emerged. These galaxies formed through entirely different mechanisms than what we understand today. Some researchers even question whether our fundamental understanding of the universe's timeline needs revision. The ripple effects extend far beyond galaxy formation alone. These discoveries impact our understanding of first star formation, element creation, and distribution throughout the cosmos, and potentially the measurement of the universe's expansion rate and age. Nearly every area of cosmology feels the tremors of Webb's revelation. Like witnessing the impossible in our everyday world, this cosmic anomaly reshapes not just what we know, but how we know it. The Vanishing Act, mysterious objects that shouldn't exist. 
Beyond the striking spiral galaxies that appeared impossibly early, Webb's most detailed images reveal something even more perplexing. These cosmic anomalies appear as unusually bright points scattered throughout the universe's infancy, objects that follow no known rules and leave no descendants in today's cosmos. Scientists studying these mysterious entities have given them an unassuming nickname, Little Red Dots. These peculiar objects defy categorization in our cosmic catalog. Unlike the familiar galaxies, stars, and nebulae that populate our astronomical textbooks, these little red dots represent something entirely new. Renowned astronomer Dale Catchfee captures the scientific community's bewilderment when he explains, we're confounded by this new population of objects that Webb has found. We don't see analogs of them at lower redshifts, which is why we haven't seen them before Webb. But the intrigue doesn't stop at their appearance. It deepens as these objects defy every expectation. They populated the infant universe the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang, like cosmic fireflies that vanish with the dawn. They emerge brilliantly in the cosmos' earliest chapters and then mysteriously disappear from later epochs, leaving no trace of their existence, similar to discovering an ancient civilization that flourished briefly and then vanished without artifacts or descendants. Their brightness presents another profound puzzle. These cosmic dots produce light far exceeding what their estimated stellar mass should permit, comparable to a birthday candle somehow illuminating an entire city block. This extraordinary energy output suggests that unknown mechanisms are at work, challenging our fundamental understanding of early cosmic light sources. These aren't mere observational glitches or telescope artifacts. Multiple research teams have independently confirmed that these objects are genuine cosmic phenomena physically present in the early universe. NASA scientists have officially classified them as a new class of galaxies, a designation that carries significant weight in astronomical circles and has sent ripples through the scientific community. Their unusual characteristics have sparked competing theories. Some astronomers propose these luminous points might represent primordial black holes during their earliest feeding stages consuming surrounding matter at rates producing exceptional brightness. Others suggest unique galaxy types that formed exclusively during cosmic youth. As astronomer Kevin Hainline observed, they were never supposed to be so bright. They were never supposed to be so big. And yet, there they are, oddly large, luminous objects that keep appearing in images taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. The mystery intensifies when considering their disappearance. Did they evolve into structures we recognize today? Or did they represent a cosmic evolutionary dead end? A form of celestial organization, unable to persist as the universe expanded and cooled? Their absence from recent cosmic history suggests they might represent a transitional phase unique to the universe's early development. These enigmatic dots have created scientific intrigue rarely seen in modern astronomy, challenging existing models of galaxy formation even more profoundly than the early spiral galaxies. While finding mature galaxies earlier than expected was surprising, discovering an entirely new class of cosmic objects raises fundamental questions about cosmic evolution. What created objects with such extraordinary brightness? Why did they exist only during cosmic infancy? What cosmic role did they play in shaping the universe we see today? The answers may reveal unique star formation patterns or the first supermassive black holes. Perhaps these little red dots were cosmic training wheels, structures necessary for the universe's development, but discarded as it matured. Beyond the beginning, challenging the Big Bang itself. Those cosmic training wheels of early galaxies might explain unusual formations, but a more startling possibility emerges when we examine Webb's deepest observations. Imagine discovering family photos showing your great-grandparents existing before they could possibly have been born. This is what Webb has found. Cosmic structures that existed too early in the universe's timeline to have formed naturally. For nearly a century, cosmologists have worked within the framework of a 13.8 billion year old universe. The Big Bang is our cosmic origin story the definitive moment when time and space began. It's also the ultimate boundary, the cosmic starting line beyond which nothing could exist. Or so we thought. Webb has potentially spotted a galaxy called 
F200DB045 with an estimated redshift of 20.4, which places it merely 160 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery resembles finding a fully formed city, moments after the land beneath it was created. If confirmed through spectroscopic analysis, this observation creates an impossible timeline problem that directly contradicts the Big Bang model. The universe simply hasn't existed long enough for such structures to assemble, even under the most generous formation scenarios. The timeline crisis deepened with Webb's detection of multiple supermassive black holes feeding in early galaxies. These cosmic monsters, with masses billions of times greater than our Sun, exist just a few hundred million years after the universe supposedly began. The math presents a profound paradox. Even if these black holes formed at the theoretical maximum rate from the moment of the Big Bang, growing as rapidly as physically possible, they couldn't have reached such enormous sizes within our current cosmic model's time frame. How can something exist before it has time to form? It's comparable to finding hundred-year-old redwood trees in a forest planted last month. Scientists describe these findings as a crisis in cosmology forcing researchers to reconsider fundamental beliefs about the universe's timeline and structure. Some suggest the universe may not have begun with the Big Bang as previously thought. Perhaps what we've considered the definitive beginning was merely one chapter in a much longer cosmic story. Nobel laureate Roger Penrose supports this radical possibility through his theory of conformal cyclic cosmology. This theory states that our universe represents just the latest in an endless cycle of universes, each new cosmos emerging from the ashes of the previous one. In Penrose's framework, the black holes Webb detected might be remnants from an earlier cosmic cycle, ancient ghosts existing before what we consider the beginning of time. This cyclical understanding suggests the Big Bang wasn't a beginning, but a transition, a cosmic metamorphosis where one universe's end births another. Each universe in this infinite chain begins with its own Big Bang, yet carries subtle imprints from its predecessor. The mysterious objects Webb has found may be exactly these imprints, cosmic fossils from previous universal epochs, whispering secrets of realities that existed before our own. If confirmed, this would transform our understanding of existence itself. The universe wouldn't be approximately 14 billion years old, it would be infinitely old, with our observable universe representing just the latest heartbeat in an eternal cosmic pulse of creation, evolution, and renewal. Our universal story would stretch beyond the Big Bang into an endless symphony of cosmic cycles, each leaving traces for the next to inherit. Webb has invited us to rethink our cosmic understanding, not a crisis fundamentally, but a revolutionary moment that demands collaboration across disciplines. Standing at this threshold, we face a profound choice, cling to established theories or embrace patterns beyond our comprehension. What appears as a contradiction reveals cosmic cycles extending beyond our limited perception. Could these impossible observations be just the beginning of a new cosmic story? Webb hasn't given us tidy answers, but better questions that might unveil reality itself. The scientific community's excitement reflects not fear of being wrong, but the thrill of standing at discovery's edge ready to rewrite the cosmic story we've been telling ourselves. If you're as fascinated by these cosmic mysteries as we are, you won't want to miss these other videos. We delve even deeper into the universe's secrets and explore recent discoveries that could revolutionize how you understand the cosmos. Remember, knowledge is our most powerful tool in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Click those videos now and let's continue our cosmic journey together. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. Stay curious and keep looking up.